right here is actually an official NBA ball. And I just purchased this a couple of weeks back. It's still in the box. It looks super cool and I can't wait. Anyway, let's go back. We're gonna to go to the home court app and we're gonna review that today. And we're gonna see how accurate the data actually is. Let's get it, let's go. So as a sports scientist, I question everything. And so what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be testing the data of the home court app. So the equipment that I use is a iPhone 8, which is right here, as well as an iPhone 10 or iPhone X, which is right here. Note that both phone cameras have different focal lengths, which means side by side, the images will look different. Because of that, I decided to test moving each iPhone so that the video would look as similar as each other. And then the next one, I actually tested them side by side as close to each other as possible. And then the last attempt, just to see whether or not that shot angle would actually change or the release angle would change, I actually did a high arcing shot for the last set of tests. Also, I tested each of these positions with 10 free throws and then collated the data. You can see that the shot analysis provides shot type, release time, release angle, leg angle, speed, and vertical. The shot type is broken down into a catch and shoot, off the dribble, layup, and free throw. The release time is the time from catching the ball to releasing it out of your hands. The release angle is the angle at which you release the ball. Now, depending on your height, this will also determine the most optimal release angle. Listen to Larry Silverberg, professor that studies motion at North Carolina State, explain the optimal release angle. You notice that there's an optimum angle, which is actually the least effort angle. And that tends to be a release angle of about, uh, depending on your height, of anywhere between 45, 46, and 53 degrees. Full video, if you're interested, is in the description below. When comparing the test where I moved each phone to look as similar as possible to each other, you can see the shot type for the home court app had 100% accuracy. This meant that every time I shot a free throw, the home court app recorded it as a free throw. In terms of release time from the 10 free throws taken, there was only a 2% on average discrepancy between the data. That meant that it was 98% accurate. Now in terms of release angle, there was around an average of 5% discrepancy. And that basically meant that this was the least accurate between the two phones. You can see the makes and misses had a slight discrepancy. Um, my iPhone X got it correctly and showed that there was a missed attempt, whereas on the iPhone 8, it counted as a make. Now in the second test, where I put each phone side by side, interestingly, the shot type received 100% accuracy and the release angle also differed by 5% on average. The thing that varied the most was actually the release time, where you can see that some of the data was not collected. On the last test, I wanted to specifically test whether the data given for release angles would get adjusted if I made a higher arcing shot. Interestingly, it did. Not only that, but for some reason, the higher arcing shot also meant that the release angle variation between both phones was less, and it was at only 3.7% difference. Also, you can see that by the 10th attempt, there was one fudge attempt as it supposedly recorded another shot, which wasn't a shot at all. In conclusion, with all the testing that we've done, what should we do about it all? Well, firstly, we know that feedback is extremely important when improving as a basketball player and in general as a person. The Home Court app can be extremely helpful to provide three things. Number one, give you a release angle number and therefore adjusting it if you notice that your shot is too flat or possibly too high arcing. Number two, it can also be helpful and accurate to track those makes and misses so you don't need to count them yourself. Number three, personally, I wouldn't take the release angle given and say that's my true release angle, but it also does give you a reference point as to how much variation you have with your free throws. Thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the video, have a watch of the one feature in the home court app that has to be used for all the coaches and players that are training with another person. You can also watch my full review of the home court app on the side. Thank you very much.